Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from The Retrolectors. And today I'm doing a response video to Musty Hobbit, a fellow member of the Cartridge Club who tagged me and the most valuable NES games in my collection. To tell you the truth, I don't have very much valuable games on the NES. Most of them are very common. A lot of them you've probably seen in pickup videos. I don't have that type of collection for the NES. I solely am for the Dreamcast, many of you guys already know. So the games that I do have are a lot of common games. Musty Hobbit was tagged by Vidya Gamer. I'll put his video response in the description below who was also tagged by Cartridge Fun, and I'll put his video response down below as well. So without further ado, here are my top five games. Five. Mario Brothers 2. And for those of you who have actually seen me do a pickup of this, it's a most common game probably on the NES, one of the common games on the NES, and I got this a while back. It's actually a remake of Doki Doki Panic. All they did was reskin Doki Doki Panic and actually put Mario as a main character, Mario, Luigi, Peach and Toad as the main characters. It's nothing of great value, but it's one of my most valuable games in my collection. Again, very, very lackluster collection of the NES. TNC Surf Designs. It's a little bit up there in like rarity, I guess you could say, or at least on my collection app, it's about an eight. I picked this up a little while back. I did a cleanup. It's a little bit damaged still, so it doesn't really I guess hold the value maybe as a, a very clean cart. As the listing goes, this is my second most valuable game that's in my collection. Three. Next up, Adventure Island 2. If you guys saw my last video, I actually just picked this up. I'm actually really happy I picked this up. Re very, very good game. Master Higgins going out after his girlfriend. Not valuable as part three being the most valuable, but this is a very good game and it does hold its value, for, at least for me. Of the three, this is the second most valuable, but it is a game that does hold its value in gold as far as the gameplay. Contra. And this game isn't necessarily the most valuable of the series. This is probably the most valuable to me because of the amount of memories I had when I was a kid and the amount of time I spent playing this as a kid. The Konami Code goes without saying for me, I can't clear this game without the Konami Code. It is a game that still holds its value because a lot of people that have gotten out of their collections or gotten rid of the system had this game and it actually holds its value just plainly because people want to get it back into their collection. Just much like Mario Brothers 3, this is a game that holds its value based off of people wanting to re-pick it up and people that don't want to get rid of it. This is why this game is kind of up there in price. Yeah. And last but not least, my most valuable game is River City Ransom. Mainly because I also have the manual that goes along with it. I picked this up a while back with Contra. Great game. I've actually beat it with Danny and we've had a blast playing it. We were trying to figure out, you know, what did we miss to go on to the next boss? We went back and back and back, and tried to figure out what enemy did we miss so that we can actually clear this game. And we actually did it in one sitting. It was a great game, fun, fun as hell. Great beat em up. The time I had with it and beating with Danny was a blast in itself. So that's my most valuable game on my collection. With that being said, my most valuable collection of NES games isn't nothing to write home about. Five games that hold a little special place in my heart or games that you know are, are very good as the sense of gameplay. I'm gonna tag three people in this video. I'm gonna tag Danny, who is actually a counterpart on this channel. He doesn't do very many videos on this channel. So I'm gonna tag him. Hopefully he does a response, maybe down here. Canadian Retro, I've seen his pickups. His videos are outstanding. If you want to check him out, I'll put his link in the description. And I'll tag Retro Pixel, another person who's very good in the Cartridge Club community. James is a very, very humble person. He'll you know go out of his way to help you. And he's helped me in the past with this channel and a few little bit of tidbits that he's helped me throughout the four years that we've uh, actually had this channel. So I'm gonna tag those three people. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of these common games. Thanks guys.